This video shows you the design of a remote control camera using Approaches Visual Designer and IoT Builder for Raspberry Pi products. We start in Proteus by creating a new flowchart project and selecting Raspberry Pi as the target controller. This will initialize both the flowchart editor and also place the Raspberry Pi component on the schematic. Next we'll add the virtual hardware to the schematic. In our example, this is simply the camera module, which we can find in the peripheral gallery. Double click to add to the project. Note that this also gives us control methods that we can use in our flowchart program. We want to control the camera from our mobile phone or tablet, so we next need to design our front panel. We do this from the IoT control gallery, where we can first choose a theme and then add the controls into our project. We'll need a button to take a photo and then a photo control to display the resulting image. After adding our IoT controls, a front panel is automatically included in the project tree. The Panel Settings dialog will let us configure the panel size for the target device. And double clicking on the panel will then open it for editing. Titles and additional graphics can be placed from the control bar. The user interface is then laid out by simply dragging and dropping the controls onto the panel and configuration of the pieces then takes place from the Properties panel on the left-hand side. Having added the hardware and designed the front panel, we need to write the logic that connects them together. Use the project tree to switch the flowchart editor. Our program wants to respond to a button press, instruct the camera to take a picture, and then send the picture to a viewer on the remote user interface. To do this, we set up an event that will trigger when the button is pressed, and in Visual Designer this is done most easily by dragging out from the button in the project tree. We can then drag and drop some camera functions into the event loop. The first method instructs the camera to capture an image and store it. The second method returns the file name of the image into the string. We pass this string into the show image method of our front panel photo control to display the image on our remote user interface. That's all we need. Visual Designer lets us control both the user interface and the electronics at a high level, which makes what would normally be quite an involved program really easy. Assuming you have a connected or integrated webcam that can act as a camera, we can test our entire system using the Proteus simulator. Press play to run the simulation and you'll see the virtual front panel user interface appear. Press the button on the front panel and you should see a picture of whatever the webcam was pointing at. If there is a problem, you can also pause, set breakpoints, and single step debug the flowchart program. Once tested, you can deploy wirelessly to the real Raspberry Pi hardware. Your Raspberry Pi will need to be configured to work with Proteus first, which is a one-time process covered in a separate video. Check your programmer settings, and then press the Program button to transmit the firmware, graphics, and interface logic across to the Raspberry Pi. Finally, use the IoT Builder app on your iOS, Android device, or your web browser to connect to the Raspberry Pi and control the camera. Remote controlled camera in five minutes? Internet of Things made easy with Proteus.